Here's a quick tutorial to show you how to make column graphs using the data that we collected in lab for the heart rate and blood pressure experiment. And I've already cut and pasted, or copied and pasted, the data from the Google spreadsheet into an Excel spreadsheet. And I've already gone ahead and organized this and calculated average heart rates for different groups and done a graph of heart rate. I'm going to go ahead here and do the same for systolic pressure, and then I'll leave it up to you to figure out the diastolic pressure. And of course, do this all on your own in your own spreadsheet that you can bring to class and talk about on Monday. So the way I've done this is to organize some columns on the side to calculate averages and that will make it a little bit easier to graph. So I've already typed this in, this information and in this cell here I'm going to write a, a cell formula equals average in the little parentheses there and then we're going to go over to our systolic pressures which is column B here, systolic pressure before exercise. I'm going to select the entire column, that would be everybody in the class, the entire group, and then close the parentheses and hit return. And so the average systolic pressure for the class was 103.88 millimeters of mercury. I'm going to do the same for after exercise equals average, open parentheses, and then let's go over to the systolic uh, people that exercised, and that's going to be this group here, the exercise people. Someone already went into the Google Doc and um, sorted this by exercise and by rest people, which makes this a little bit easier to do. Here's the blood pressure column. So these are the systolic pressures of people that exercised. Close the parentheses and hit return. And then likewise, I'm going to do this for after rest. Now I can actually, to make life simple, uh, copy this cell and paste it into this cell and that will automatically do this column for you but I'll go ahead and type it out equals average parentheses um, the systolics oh that's down here actually I'm sorry you can't cut and paste that because we're using these numbers down here so equals average parentheses these are the after rest people close parentheses and there's the average for them. All right, so there are three numbers that we want to graph. The systolic pressure before, exercise, uh, before doing anything, the systolic pressure of the people after exercising, and the systolic pressure of our control group that was at rest. So I'm going to click and drag over these six cells here. We're going to graph these numbers, and then the program's automatically going to put these words in as labels at the bottom of the graph. I'm going to go up to now a couple ways you could do this. You could use insert chart. I'm going ahead and click on this chart tab here and then click on column graphs and we want a clustered column graph. You can do all different types of column graphs. I'm going to do this clustered column graph here and there's our graph. Now to make this look a little bit like the heart rate graph I made earlier, let's swing this over, I'm going to make a couple of changes. We don't need this thing here that says series, this little legend here. Uh, we don't need that, so I'm going to get rid of that, click on it, and then delete it. Uh, I'm going to click on the chart layout tab here, and that's going to give us options for putting various labels on the graph. Let's add a chart title. And then I'm going to type in here systolic pressure before and after exercise. And if I want to, I should be able to change the font of that if I want to make that a little bit smaller. But we'll leave that for, for now, and, and you can play with that yourself if you'd like to. And we need a, a y-axis label uh, as well. So let's go up to axis titles, vertical axis title, rotated title. And if we click in here, we can delete what comes with it, and then we can put in uh, systolic, of course it's hard to see what we're typing there, S-Y-S-T-O-L-I-C, systolic pressure. It's very important to always have the units, which is millimeters, of mercury, Hg. 
systolic pressure in millimeters of mercury. And there we go, systolic pressure before and after exercise. Now looking at these data, and we'll talk about these more in class, but you can see the, the group of four, and then our exercise group, and our control group. And as you do all three of these graphs, take a look at the information and see what you think. See if you think there was an effective exercise. How big was the effect? We discussed this last week looking at just the raw numbers, but now we can do it with some visuals with these graphs. So you'll need to do the diastolic pressure and the heart rate just like we've done the systolic pressure here. If you're using a, uh, if you're using Windows, this may look a little bit different. This is Mac Office 2011 or Mac Excel 2011. If you're using the Windows version, it may look a little bit different, but I think a lot of the commands will be in roughly the same place. So I hope that works for you, and if it doesn't, please text or email me over the weekend. And good luck.